Uh, so we'll be like a little bit uh, drunk and say, yeah, this, uh, you see all that, you know, this is what uh, happens when the nobles fight each other and we, who pays the cost? This is all the body. Fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck it up. Grab the girl, come here, come here, come Camera on his feet. The hound. Mm. Boom. Confirmed. Called it. Hi, everybody. Hi, Tamar. So, Game of Thrones Season 6, Episode 8 is coming up. We're getting really close to the conclusion of the season. Mm -hmm. Only three more episodes to go. And the last three episodes will be jam-packed with action mm -hmm. and plot twists and hopefully interesting things. So, let's and start. Titties. And from the trailer, it seems that Episode 8 will be full of yeah. interesting things. So, let's start off. In King's Landing, where Cersei chooses violence. Mm. I choose violence. So like we said many times, Cersei is stupid. <laughs> but not in the, you know, in the obvious way. When she says, uh, I choose violence, it's like a glimpse to her uh, entire philosophy towards right. power. Right. Like power is power, like she uh, demonstrated uh, to Littlefinger back in the days. You in know? season two. Like right. raw, raw force. Brute force, right. Brute force is power. And she has the ex-mountain that is now Robert Strong, who is brute force incarnate. So maybe she really believes that uh, because she has this mountain at her side, that she truly is powerful. Even though there's no more mm -hmm. Lannister army in King's Landing, mm -hmm. she has no one left. No allies, no, no friends, allies. except uh, Keyborn. Keyborn, who's yeah. back. Kevin is not with her. Her son is not with her. Against her. Against her. And her beloved brother, uh, lover, is far, far away. And we see Robert Strong, the mountain, facing seven faith militants. I counted, there's mm. seven. So maybe it's gonna be a trial by seven. Mm. This is from the Duncan Egg story. That's a law that you can ask for a trial by seven, and it's seven against seven. Maybe that will be the trick mm. up the High Sparrow's sleeve. He will, uh, he will say, okay, we'll have seven guys. Now, can you find seven guys? No, I just have the one. But obviously, that's enough. Yeah, that's enough. So we see him like beating them up, and yeah, obviously and he's gonna win. Yeah. So that. So what's gonna happen next? Is she going to get a pass? Is she now uh, found not guilty? This rivalry between her and the High Sparrow has been has been building up for two seasons now, and now if she wins the trial by uh, by seven, she wins. Yeah, maybe. But but one of the participants in this uh, combat in this trial by combat is Lancel. You call it! And Lancel knows she's guilty. Right. And from the trailer you can see everyone else in this uh, seven, and the seven warriors are really, really scared. And he's like, uh, I don't know. Lancel is not scared? He's not scared or okay. less scared. I don't know. Okay. Well, just my interpretation. Okay. So he knows that he, he should win. Uh, it's a trial judged by the gods. So mm. the gods know the truth. So, so if it will not so go... So he can't well, lose. Mm-hmm. But he will lose. <laughs> okay, so so how will they ra uh, rationalize this loss? Because Cersei's champion, Sir Robert Strong, is an abomination. Yep, mm? That's racist. It's an abomination. Yeah. So it could be a justification for uh, the High Sparrow and the Faith to right. reject this uh, verdict oh, because okay. it was achieved by an undead uh, zombie. So it's an affront to the gods. Yeah, yeah. She yeah. cheated. So maybe it will play out as while he's killing everybody. One of them will come up from behind, they don't have swords, just have like baseball bats. So just knock, knock him in the head and then his helmet will fall. Mm. He will turn around and you will see his grisly face, dead, undead face. And the guy will be just dumbfounded. And that will be the proof in the pudding. Maybe his skin will be like pudding as well, I don't know. Yeah. Either way, the political consequences are very interesting because uh, the Faith knows that uh, Cersei is guilty. Okay. And if she will get away with it, perhaps it will be a catalyst for uh, anarchy to come. Like, right. Uh, riots, uh, you know, the Faith and the Crown are, will not be uh, together again. Why? <clears throat> Maybe they will have to choose sides. Maybe Tommen will say, oh, yeah, 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 I know, I know, she's innocent. Mm, but the Faith okay. will say, no, 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 it's an abomination, something like okay. that. And then are you with me, are you against this? Like Cersei could uh, 
say something like that to her son. Are you with me? Are you against me? Okay. So maybe the, <clears throat> it will be another rift. Between the king and the <clears throat> high sparrow. And the okay. people and against the noblemen. And also there, there are no Tyrells in King's Landing. Like we expect the, in, in episode 10, as Cersei sits in the Red Keep, people will come over. Masses and masses mm. with their torches and their pitchforks ah, storming the Red Keep. And she will sit on the throne. Maybe the mountain will block the doors. <laughs> and she will just say, Burn them mm -hmm. all. Burn them all. Yeah. So let's go to River Run. Mm -hmm. So first we see Brienne telling Jamie that she that if she's not able to convince the Blackfish to leave River Run and Jamie attacks River Run, she will have to fight. Jamie. Yeah, probably not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. So Brienne will go to the Blackfish armed with a letter from Sansa, mm. basically telling him, what do you have to gain sitting here, closed up, held up in your castle? Leave the castle, come and join Sansa, and then you can take everything, not only your measly little castle. So maybe Brienne will convince him uh, to uh, give up the castle and surrender. Uh, why? To prevent a, a unnecessary death, because Sansa needs mm. him alive mm. to help her in the north, because the real battle is in the north. Right. Mm -hmm. And then he could come back with Sansa to the Riverlands and, and retake the Riverlands for the Tullys. Yeah. yeah. So we expect that to happen because we see in the trailer that Le Brienne is on a boat. Living. Living River. something. Looking, river, live Riverlands. Yeah, right. looking uh, behind. So, yeah. Right. Okay. And according to the flow of the river, She's definitely going north. Mm -hmm. So we've been expecting uh, Braun, the Braun. You mean Le Bon? Le Bon. Le Bon. To snitch on Cersei to Jamie, telling him that she has been fucking around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because in the books, this doesn't happen in the books. <laughs> <laughs> you know, from the books, that Jamie has to get to this fuck you moment. Yeah. And desert Cersei. Podrick also knows about uh, Cersei and uh, Lancel. Ah, so maybe he would just <laughs> say something by accident. Doo, doo, doo. Ah, Cersei fucked uh, Lancel. Oops! I thought you know, my lord. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, and also we see the Hound starting to exact yeah. revenge mm -hmm. on the Brotherhood. The Holy Rage. Holy Rage probably yeah. Yeah. will yeah. take control, take over the Brotherhood. And just let's understand the geography. The Hound is in the Riverlands. River Run, Brienne, Jamie, the phrase, they're all in the Riverlands, mm -hmm. pretty close to each other. Mm -hmm. So Brienne could meet the Hound yeah, yeah. as and she met uh, Lady Stoneheart, and he has a reason to want revenge against her because she's the one that killed him. So yeah, that yeah. could connect in some way, in some interesting way. I like it. Was close to the faith. He got close to the faith or having a faith in something, okay. and then everything uh, broke before his eyes. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. So the next step is uh, to become a nihilist, you know? Mm, so a man will no longer have a code. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. A man's gonna have a code. Oh. Fucking nihilist. <laughs> you can say what you say about National Socialism. At least they had an ethos. <laughs> so let's go to Bravos. What the fuck is going on in Bravos? This is just seems so lame. Yeah. Arya was stabbed one moment and then she's like born an identity ninja Bruce Lee running yeah, around the city. In, yeah. It seems like a straight up action slash chase sequence in the city, like yeah. in Paris. So now it's in Bravos. Yeah. Turning to a Scooby Doo uh, episode with all the, you know. Scooby-Doo. And basically, when she was stabbed so easily by this old woman, it seems out of character for her not to, not to be on her guard, yeah. basically asking for it. That's sexist. So it begs the, the question and the theories of maybe there's something there that we're not figuring out. Maybe it's not just straight up the waif stabbing Arya in the street. Maybe there's something more to it. Maybe mm. there's some kind of twist, I don't know. Let me put my uh, tinfoil yarmulke. Maybe the one that stabbed Arya is okay. Arya herself, <laughs> and the waif is disguised to Arya in order to make Arya do something that, yeah. No, I don't see it. How, how would you get Arya's face? 
maybe Arya is not really Arya, but Jack in Hagar <laughs> testing the wave, okay. or maybe sh the and wave is Arya, and everything is part of the the, the you know the test for Arya. She okay. needs to kill herself to become no one. Maybe she will get healed magically, and it will just plain suck. Yeah, probably. Okay, so let's end this prediction video in Mirin. We see Tyrion in a hall, and then you hear boom, 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 looks up, and the chandelier yeah. is shaking. The chandeliers, come on. So maybe that's Daenerys on mm. Drogon coming back to Mirin to take care of business. Yeah, she's gonna yeah. meet Tyrion. Mm -hmm. Say, come on, look what I did. And he's yeah. gonna be all proud. I've made peace with the masters. You weren't able to do that. No more terrorist attacks. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Give me some props. But no, 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 no. no. Maybe she will uh, not like it. She mm -hmm. will not. Maybe she's like uh, starting to get in uh, her Dothraki, uh, you know, character. Right. And Dr they don't negotiate. Right. They don't do concessions. Seven yeah. years of slavery before it's abolished. When I have dragons, come on. Come and on. a Dothraki army. And then solid. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah. So maybe that would be the moment that she would probably decide to burn Astapur and Yunkai, whatever, yeah. and Tyrion will realize what the fuck am I doing yeah. with this crazy Tyrion will, uh, woman. Maybe he will uh, represent or reflect the view of the viewers towards uh, Daenerys. And how much will, it's changed. How much it's changed. Like, it will be like uh, this approval. Like, okay, now she's different. You right. need to be against her now because right. Tyrion will be against her. Right. Mm. And we like Tyrion. Right. I like him. Right. So maybe Daenerys will come up to Tyrion and tell him, I c you know, she will be mad. No. <laughs> or maybe this is not Drogon that is making the noise. Maybe Mirin is under attack. Yeah, but uh, they have peace now. Peace now. Let's wrap it up. If you enjoyed the video, please click like. Please. Look at him. He needs your like. Yeah. And subscribe to get all our videos during the season, after the season. Just subscribe. Mm -hmm. You know you want to. And if you want to support us, and if you want to support Itamal and his deteriorating mental health, <laughs> <laughs> Please click on the link in the description to our Patreon page. Just, just look at him. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank all our patrons. And if you think that the nurse is going to kick ass and take control of Westeros, you better watch this video about how the dragons have to die. All the dragons must die. Mm -hmm. Valar Morgul is dragons. Bye, everybody.